I've got a framework that turns a traditional sales perspective on its head and involves it into a sales superpower. Given that we're shifting from selling to helping, let's dub this the help framework. So here's how you can harness help, humanity. In sales, authenticity is your secret weapon. Author and motivational speaker Zig Ziller once eloquently put it, stop selling, start helping. It's a simple shift in mindset, but it's the ripple effects that are profound. Sure, you might strike gold by landing a whale of a client using traditional hard sell tactics, but let's be real. For the majority, that approach might feel like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. That's why my gaze is fixed on opportunities where authenticity and humanity lead the charge. Most people should be too. Authentic sales that are grounded in genuine help and provide value may not have the flashiness of aggressive sales pitches, but remember, authentic doesn't mean ineffective. There's power in being genuine, and because of that, a lot of opportunities can unfold. Trust is built, relationships are forged, and customer loyalty skyrockets. Embrace humanity, and you'll discover more doors opening, fewer competitors in the authentic space, and a more enjoyable sales journey. Empathy. If there's a trait that is the cornerstone of effective selling, it's empathy. It's the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. And it's pivotal in shifting from a selling to a helping mindset. A significant portion of successful sales strategies boil down to two core steps. Understanding the client's needs, of course that's challenging, and meeting those needs in a meaningful way, which is even more challenging. It's a listen more, talk less strategy. Another golden nugget that's immensely beneficial is people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Oh, that's a gem. And it's words to live by in sales. It might also sound quite straightforward, but the results, they're anything but ordinary. Empathy plus understanding plus authenticity is a recipe that you don't want to underestimate. Learning. When it comes to sales and continuous improvement, being adaptable is key. But there's a balance with everything, including learning and adapting. Continuous learning in sales often stems from a desire to improve and adapt to the ever-changing landscape. This is why you should always be receptive to new ideas and strategies. It keeps you relevant and effective. So if you've gained a new insight, don't take it lightly. And certainly don't let it gather dust because your best strategies need room to grow and they'll wither away if it's stifled by inaction. Proactiveness. When we talk about shifting from selling to helping, it's not just a mindset change, it's a call to action. So here's where proactiveness comes into play. Go beyond being reactive. When you're proactive, it's like anticipating the needs of your clients before they voice them. It's like delivering a cup of coffee just as they realize they need it. In a world drowning in notifications and automated messages, being genuinely proactive is like a breath of fresh air. It shows you care understand and you're here to offer real value remember proactiveness doesn't mean pushing it means paving the way for solutions before the problems even surface it's foreseeing their hurdles and providing a helping hand to navigate through them seamlessly be proactive anticipate needs offer value and watch the narrative change from they're trying to sell me something to they're here to help me i hope this was helpful if you like it please like share comment in the section below and stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.